We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. NC State's coaching staff, they know they've got a star wide receiver. They know it's going to be a hostile environment. With that, we went to practice this week, Kirk. They had the crowd noise pumped up pretty good getting them ready for this game. Yeah, they've done everything that they can do to get this offense ready for a tough environment. They had the crowd noise all week long, making it tough to communicate for the quarterback and his receivers. Now it's here. Now it's the game. We'll see if all that preparation... Lost the ball. Fumble. It's recovered. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. It's second and 11. Ball on their own 24. and hit hard as he came down with it. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down right around the 26-yard line. Not a lot on that one. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. He really got a hold of that one. Brought down at the 29. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Tackle made at the 38. They try running left. Makes it out to about the 49. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. And down he goes around the 48-yard line. Tailback brought down for a loss. Loss of three yards on the play. That'll make it 39. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Yard and that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. He gets out to about the six-yard line. Call it a game of two yards. That brings him second and goal. And he hits him hard at the four-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. They're lucky he was able to hang on to the football. He took a pretty good shot. He's on the run. He's taken down at the two. That's a game of two. Can the defense make a stop? Fourth down and goal to go. We're at the one yard line. Tackle at about the five yard line. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. The last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. That's good for a game of three yards. Come on, guys, 
That makes it second and six. Two down, two down. He gets out to about the nine yard line. tackled at the 20 yard line that's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to he did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down that'll bring up second and three Mike 12 Mike 12 Makes it out to about the 40. The ball carrier. Gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Mike 12. Mike 12. Let's go. Fuck two. Fuck two. Red 18. Gains his way to midfield. Second so it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Here's the eighth play of the series. Give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Booming kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Put the ball in there perfectly that time. Let me tell you, this kid has impressed me all day with the touch on his passes. That's a good looking throw there. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll make it second and four. Nice run there. We played one quarter. No score here. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. He's hit and got away. Tackled after a decent pickup. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Pops free, and it's picked up by one of the linemen. And this is the eighth play of the drive. I got 40, I got 40. Right here, right here. And he's taken down at the 16-yard line. This offense has really stalled on their last two trips to the red zone. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Hands off up the middle and 
stuffed. Did somebody miss an assignment there? I mean, this kid came in untouched. I don't know if it's the wide receiver or maybe the tight end. Somebody's got to be able to block that corner. He's going to make plays all day. Second down and 11. Ball on the 12-yard line. He makes it to the nine. Looks to a receiver, touchdown. hits the PAT. A 12-play, 79-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running runs. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Quick throw. He's tackled around the 42-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. Well, the defense doing a great job of getting pressure on this quarterback. That time, they brought the blitz, and the defensive line was able to break through and come up with a big sack. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. They come out in a five-wide set. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Clemson up seven points. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss of four on the play. That makes it second and 14. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 16. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of six yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Incomplete. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. On the play. That makes it fourth and long. They've got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Tackle at the 48-yard line. NC State's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit. They're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep. And you look at a lot of film, and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around. And you have a good idea of how you want to attack the defense. And then you go out there, and it's not working. You have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at that drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things. 
and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. So he got a few yards on that carry. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. And he has it on the corner. The five. And he shoved out of bounds at about the three-yard line. Game of 16 yards. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Touchdown, NC State. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. We'll be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Dives, and he's down. Five wide. Throws a strike over the middle. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. He's at the 30. To the 20. To the 10. And a huge touchdown play. And that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. You know, you wonder about the mindset and the psyche of this football team after the turnover on the last possession. It's going to be interesting to see what they're really made out of here. This is an important possession for this offense. Loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Three down, three down. 43 is the mic. Down. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start, offense. 
That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Now it's second and long after the penalty. Under pressure. Going to go across the middle. Caught. Very good tackle in space. North Carolina State will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. They'll bring him down at the 27. A one-yard gain by the halfback. NC State's called their final timeout. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. And this one is a beauty. He makes it to the 32-yard line. He showed a good burst there. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. North Carolina State is up a score. Quick pass, and he tackles him hard at the 40. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That brings up second and one. Complete. He's got room. Tackle made at about the 49. And he's immediately tackled. We played a half of football. The Wolfpack lead 14-7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. NC State's a type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill when they can attack this offense. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. He scrambled. run and he's brought down that was a good play by the halfback picked up about five yards on the option that makes it 33. passes to the right it's picked off he telegraphed that throw he eyed his receiver the whole way that was an easy read by the defense First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. North Carolina State is up by a touchdown. 
At about the 39 yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a game of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Brought down at about the 21. Game of 11 yards. First down. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21 yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Let's go! And he's tackled around the 11-yard line. Game three on the play. First down. Pitch out, got the corner. Touchdown, North Carolina State. And he converts the extra point. A seven play, 49 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. And down he goes at the 48. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. Nice run there. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. He's on the run, and they got him. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Taken down at the 38 yard line. They'll knock him down for a loss. No game on the play. That makes it second and ten. Steps out of bounds at the 36. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Number 43 makes the tackle. They'll call on the field goal unit. That'll make it fourth and six. Kicks up, and it's good. Great snap and a perfect hold, and he just had an awesome follow-through. Everything went right there on that long field goal. 21-10, North Carolina State. Clemson, the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives, and they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure, try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Green to the back, no good. It's third and nine. Ball on the 26. And a quick throw. And he hits him hard at the 32-yard line. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's taken down at the 30. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled around the 43-yard line. Second and 11. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. six-yard line. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26. He's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 12-yard line. Touchdown, Tigers! Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. North Carolina State is up by four. The halfback with a carry. Nice run to the left there. That brings him second in One more quarter of action remaining, and this one has been a real treat. NC State's up by four. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. 
So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Now he's flushed, and they got it. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. And that'll be three and out. He really got a hold of that one. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Pass is caught and defense lays him out. That'll be a gain of five. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it. And they keep moving the defense back. Tackled after decent pickup. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That is a loss of four yards. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 47-yard line, second down. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. That's a deep right, 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 right. That makes it third and eleven. Get down. Get the mic. Get out, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. He heaves it deep. Great concentration to pull it in. And it's a whole new ball game. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Clemson is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Scrambling around. He's got the corner. He decides to run with it. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 42-yard line. he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Ready! Flag 98! Flag 98! Motion, 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 motion! motion. motion. <laughs> On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. To get back in this game in the fourth quarter, this third and long is huge. And they'd at least like to have some yardage here and give their kicker a chance to tie this game. That's a great tackle at the 49. Less than three minutes in the game. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 
Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Six yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. Oh, excellent punt. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. NC State staff know that they've got a guy in a crucial situation that can maybe make the difference in the ball game, but you can't just rely on him alone. Yeah, you got a real difference maker lined up on the outside. The defense knows that. You know they're going to tilt their defense, the secondary especially, towards him. It's going to open up some opportunities for other wide receivers and maybe even running backs out of the backfield to be able to make plays. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they got him for a loss. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Wants to go long and done. And this one's broken up. Third and long in the fourth quarter. If the defense gets a stop here, it might be a W. by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. He goes downtown. Well, that one should do it. A fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter, and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that will mean a victory. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 31. Big opening. Decent run here, right side. Around four yards there on the quarterback keeper. North Carolina State will take their last time out. Makes it to the 25-yard line. Fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Under a minute left. Gets it up and it's long enough and he just drilled it from long range and he's got to be happy about that kick oh no question this kid is just a solid kicker 27 21 clemson this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback here we are late in the fourth quarter and this is what this game has come down to every possession is going to count and this could be the one right here Blue 14. 
tackle made at the 41. That makes it first and 10. That makes it first and 10. The spike will stop the clock. That makes it second and 10. It's second and 10. Ball on the 41 yard line. Three down, three down. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. Pressure coming. So this one goes final. A hard fought close game. 27 21, Tiger. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Clemson comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.